did Billie Eilish diss Taylor Swift and Beyonce? So she went on Station Head and commented about show lengths saying doing a three hour show that's literally psychotic. Nobody wants that. Things are heating up in the music industry. From the looks of things, Billie Eilish may have said a thing or two about Taylor Swift and many other big names in the game and let's just say, she pissed off a lot of fandoms. Recently, the bad guy singer sat down for an interview and opened up about how she felt about concerts that last up to three hours. According to Billie, the entire three-hour thingy isn't really her cup of tea, and she may or may not have taken a shot at Taylor Swift. My show would be like a million years long. If I did that, I'd have to cut like every other song. <laughs> now Billy didn't take any names, but fans have a pretty good idea who she was talking about. As expected, Billy is catching a lot of heat for her comments while some fans are agreeing with her. Just what exactly happened? What did she say? Did Billy actually bash Taylor Swift for her three-hour concerts? Let's find out. Billy sat down with Station Head Radio for an interview for the promotion of her new album, Hit Me Hard and Soft. Naturally, the conversation turned to her setlist for her upcoming tour. The singer was asked if she'd be singing all her songs, and Billy's reply has started quite a controversy on social media. Are you going to put out... Oh, okay, interesting. Are you going to put every song on Hit Me Hard and Soft on the set list when you perform? See, I can't do that. Billy replied with how she thought that adding all the songs would make the entire show a million years long. My show would be like a million years long. If I did that, I'd have to cut, like, every other song. And she didn't just stop there. She went on to talk about how she's not made to perform for three hours or even see someone else perform for three hours. The singer added that if she was a fan and her fab was performing for that long, she'd probably get bored. My favorite artist in the world, I'm not trying to hear them for three hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's far too long. Nobody wants that. You guys don't want that. I would don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want that as a fan. When the interview hit the internet fans dug into Billy's words. According to them, the singer was taking a hit at Taylor indirectly. You see Taylor Swift is hella busy with her tour, the Eras Tour these days. Now the headlining making tour is around three hours long, and Billy talked about how the entire idea of doing a three-hour long show seems psychotic to her. Now there aren't a lot of artists making waves for being on that stage that long these days. I'm not doing a three-hour show, that's literally psychotic. What's more, fans think that Billy might have been throwing shade at Queen B2. For your information, Beyoncé's tour, Renaissance World Tour, is also around three hours long. Obviously, the most recent tours that have been three hours or more are the Eras Tour and the Renaissance Tour. So people think that she is shading Beyoncé and Taylor. Now Billy's fans were quick to come to her rescue. Some covered it up by saying that Billy wasn't taking hits at anyone. Instead, she was just referring to her own album and what suits her best. Besides, Billy is a big fan of Taylor Swift. During one of her recent interviews, she couldn't stop herself from singing Miss Swift's praises, saying, I find it really hard to play stadiums. Beyonce and Taylor are untouchable superstars. The fact that they can put on a show that long and it's filled with so many incredible moments is really amazing. However, the drama is far from over. Fans uncovered something that has a lot of folks thinking that there might be something cooking between Billy and Taylor. In case y'all don't know, Taylor just came out with three new versions of her The Tortured Poet Department album. And guess what? They noticed how Taylor had dropped the three versions at the same time Billy released her new album last week. Some are calling it a coincidence, while others are accusing Taylor of always making sure no one beats her to the top. An ex-user wrote, Taylor Swift breaking her neck doing everything to prevent other artists from shining. Because these new editions have come out on the same day as Billie Eilish's new album, Hit Me Hard and Soft, which, FYI, has been critically acclaimed. Do some believe that Taylor is actually trying to block Billie's album release? Fans also remembered how Billie tried to take a hit at Taylor a month back. She was online ranting about how artists are always re-releasing their albums on vinyl. According to Billie, the idea of releasing different versions of their albums didn't really sit right. In an interview with Billboard, the singer dragged unnamed artists and talked about how it was just wasteful packaging. She said, We live in this age or day where, for some reason, it's very important for some reasons to make all sorts of different vinyl and packaging, which ups the sales and ups the numbers and gets them more money. And the bad guy singer didn't just stop there. She went on to talk about how the entire process seemed frustrating to her. She said, it's some of the biggest artists in the world making 20 different vinyl packages that have a different unique thing just to get you to keep buying more. 
And once again, fans thought that Billy was taking shots at Taylor. Vinyls and Taylor Swift go hand in hand. If Miss Swift is releasing an album, you best believe that there will be a vinyl as well. In fact, just recently, Taylor broke her own record for the most sales of a vinyl in a week, and that too in just three days. Now it's not like Billy doesn't release vinyls. Eilish made an announcement on 31st March 2024 regarding her album, Happier Than Ever. She stated that her vinyl came in eight variants. I know some of y'all are thinking about calling her a hypocrite, but hear me out. It was also revealed that Billy uses 100% recycled black vinyl. She said, I can't even express to you how wasteful it is. It is right in front of our faces and people are just getting away with it left and right, and I find it really frustrating as somebody who really goes out of my way to be sustainable and do the best that I can and try to involve everybody in my team in being sustainable. Still, that didn't stop Swifties from coming for her after her vinyl comments. Billy had messed with the devil itself, and we're guessing she realized it because she was quick to address the matter. She posted a story on her Instagram where she wrote, Okay, so it would be so awesome if people would stop putting words into my mouth and actually read what I said in that Billboard article. I wasn't singling anyone out, these are industry-wide systemic issues, and when it comes to variants, so many artists release them, including me, which I clearly state in the article. The climate crisis is now, and it's about all of us being part of the problem and trying to do better sheesh. While that may have calmed the storm, her recent comments about three-hour-long shows have landed her in trouble again. However, others suggest that it's only a coincidence that Taylor's album happens to be three hours long. Taylor is yet to respond on the matter, and so is Billy after she made some headlines regarding this incident. And that's it for today. What do you think about the situation? Will Taylor address the situation? Will Billy step up and clear the air? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.